Joseph YouTube, welcome to the coffee pod. My name is Chish Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. He flew me out and he bought me a new car. You're gonna wanna see this. Grab yourself a cup of coffee. Let's get it. Where is the car? It's in front of the car. And it says, we just getting warmed up. God's plan. I'm just obeying. Four more points on the board. We've been working for four years building. Oh, okay. it was a birthday present. Came I don't in. have that car. I never got it. What do you mean? This is what happened. I don't have a car. Okay. So then he saw uh, an open need, I guess, mm -hmm. and was like, oh my gosh, like, you know what I was thinking for your birthday? You need a car. He sent the picture. And I'm like, for real, for real? He called me. He's like, if you don't come get this car for your birthday, I'm going to be mad at you. Shut the f Because it's paid for. So I flew out here and woke up at eight o'clock in the morning on my birthday. Birthday. And then we went and they had the bow on it. And I was excited. And then Damn. I drove it and they was like, we're going to put some the black rims on it and then send it to you in like two weeks. After like two months, I'm like, where's the car? I called him and I'm like, yo, what's up with the car? Right. He gave me a really bogus excuse. Like, I'm going to pick it up in a couple of days and drive it to Alabama because that's where the company paid for the car. Some crazy story. And right. then he said, my brother is the one who bought the car, not me. The point of the story is I never saw the car, got the car, nothing. And it was just like the biggest lie I've probably ever been told in my entire life. Yo. <laughs> you think you've heard it all. You think you've seen it all here on the coffee pod. What is going on on her birthday is when this happened. And we only have one question. There's only one question we have. Did he apologize? She deserves an apology. No, I'm just kidding. Did he bust the cheeks? Based on these photos, like I'm watching, you got to think of how crazy this is. You can tell she, like, the, the hug isn't genuine. Here's a photo of them hugging. There's also her showing off the car in her story. There you go. But guys, of course, we're all wondering the same thing. Did he hit? Because that's why he did all that. Because he knew that she would take the bait. But more on that later. Let's check out some of these comments, man. This is diabolical. First comment here says, he knocked her down. Goes on to say, my Range Rover dealer told me about a guy who does this once a month. No, bro. This is a thing? This is a thing? What do you guys think of this? This is a thing. Because in one hand, I'm like, well, you're lying to women. And I wouldn't, I would never encourage a man to do this, especially in today. Like, okay, here's why I would never encourage any man to do this other than the, the fact of it being extremely just effed up, no matter how you want to look at it. Because guys are going to comment and say, I don't care, uh, uh, city boys up. But here's the thing. I remember a while back, they were trying to pass this law. And I, I don't know if how serious it was, but there was some law they were trying to pass where like, if you lie about your income, lie about your status, then they wanted to put it in the category of grape, right? Of you like tricking a woman into sleeping with you because you lied about who you are. It's not about aren't both men and women out here lying. I think it's more about the dangers of this. When the genders are reversed, it's a come up for one of these Instagram chicks to get pregnant and trap a famous singer or a ball player or whatever it's it's viewed as a come up oh you shouldn't have been caught slipping right um control yourself discipline yourself which of course i would agree with but when a man does it now you have the tinder swindler and so i'll just be cautious so to me it seems like this is a dangerous thing to do even though i'm looking at these women and saying like why do you think you deserve a car? Your overestimation of your own value and believing that you deserve this? You're not thinking anything else. Can this be a trap or whatever? That's what got you in this situation, right? All right, guys, my bad. I got sidetracked by this comment here. This guy says, my Range Rover dealer told me about a guy who does this once a month. Once a month, brings a young girl in, test drives, they say the car will be delivered in a week or so, and he knocks them down and cancels everything. What? Yo, drink the coffee. Somebody else here says, my only question <laughs> with, the hand, with the hand raised, did he beat? We know he beat, man. With the laughing emoji, here's somebody else who says, so basically you gave up the coochie up for a test drive. Oof. 
Somebody else here added, what was she building? Which God's plan was she talking about? Yeah, she posted a photo with this car on her Instagram talking about God's plan. This is why you just can't believe anybody's social media life. The women who are looking at this photo of her posting with this Range Rover were jealous. They were hating, they were jealous, they were judging themselves. Some woman was crying herself to sleep because she's like, oh my gosh, why not me? Not knowing this woman's getting scammed over some cheeks. The caption of the photo said, we're just getting warmed up, God's plan. I'm just obeying. <laughs> Four more points on the board. We've been working for four years building. What is she talking about? Who has a better manager than me? One publishing guru. Wow, a brand new car for my birthday. I couldn't ask for a better gift. Goes to show hard work pays off. No payments, paid in full. Thank you, happy birthday to me. She made it sound like she got this car herself. Yo. I don't drink coffee. We know you don't. I don't drink coffee. We know you don't. She actually made it sound like she bought this car herself the way that she wrote. She, she deserved this. You know why? You know why I'm going to say that? It's going to sound insensitive. I'm not encouraging it. it. I would never encourage this. But I'm saying, if, you, if, you, if you're sitting there falling for this and then posting like you worked for it, there's something wrong. There's something wrong. Now, of course, this could have ended like really bad, you know, some like some true crime documentary and got really bad. And that's not what I'm talking about. Do you guys remember the last video I did on a topic like this it was the guy who pretended to be the NBA player in like the rented car. And just because of that, the chick let him smash the same night on the car. On the car. And she told that story. Here's another person who responded back to the last comment we just read who said LMAO. She got flown out, back blown out, then sent back home to marinade on what just happened. Here's somebody else who says, I feel like ninjas should do like 30 days in jail for lying like this. And another person here says, you right. And so should women shaking my head. It's crazy out here. I think if you're going to arrest guys for dangling a car so that they could smash, you should also arrest women who dangle the cat just to poke holes in the condom and trap a man and actually believe men when they say, yo, this woman um, trapped me. Here's somebody else who says, this is actually crazy, dot, dot, dot. Men just be lying for no reason. No, he had a reason. He had a plan. Here's somebody else who says she didn't even ask for the gift and he did all that for no reason. Shaking my damn head. It's sad men be capping like this so bad. Ugh. Why are these chicks acting like he didn't have a reason to do this? He wanted to smash. Ladies, be careful out here. Do not fall for it. The more I think about this, this is probably an easy playbook. So many chicks out here are waiting for this guy. They're waiting for a guy who thinks they're so beautiful, so fine, that they're going to get something for nothing. Just based on how beautiful you are. Doesn't matter how fine you look. 99.9999% of you can kiss this type of situation becoming a reality, goodbye. Somebody else responded here and says he had a reason to cream them buns, whoa. And uh, she said, if you have to lie just to have a woman deal with you, it's a lot of things you need to work on as a man. I'd agree with that. I would say this is too much hassle just to get some cheeks. She goes on to say there's literally bigger fish to fry and you need to see why you can't get a woman in the first place. True. Here's somebody else who says, bro really pulled off the ultimate Punani scam. Somebody else here says, greatest smash Ponzi scheme of all time with a laughing emoji. Somebody else here added to go out your way to lie like this. The laughing emojis had this woman get on a flight, take pictures with the car and everything is devil's work. Yes, nasty work right there. Somebody else here says, artists, please take note of the men in the comment section trying to justify this and telling Ray to chill. We see you too. We see you too. So they don't like the men justifying this. I mean, there's ways you can not justify this, but you can point fingers at this chick. If a woman I care about, I have cousins, I have a sister. If any of them came to me and said some guy wanted to buy him a Range Rover, I would tell him like, why? That doesn't make any sense. Why, 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 why does he want that? There has to be an ulterior motive. But let's just keep it real. Based on the way this chick was writing about how this was all God's plan. <laughs> um, 
she'd have told you you're hating on her. No, um, I'll have a tea actually. She doesn't want to drink that coffee. What? Man, you know, she'd have posted some shit like uh when people see God working in your life, they just hate. <laughs> Little does she know. Oh, man. This is the problem of not believing in hard work and thinking shit's going to fall from the sky. Another comment here says, my boy was beating the Mario coins out of her with the laughing emojis. Yes, yes, yes. Listen, 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 listen. Of course, I'm curious to know. What do you think? Leave your comments down below. As always, I appreciate you for checking out yet another episode of The Coffee Pod. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.